supporting your children through divorce. Big subject, difficult subject. How do you do it? What do you say? How should you approach helping your children through this difficult time? These are great questions and ones which I wished I had had better answers to. But I think I did a couple of things okay as a dad and did a few things not okay as well. That's what happens sometimes where you don't plan on going through divorce so you don't have a plan to manage your kids through it. So <laughs> it's not an easy subject but I did learn some things through it and on this video I'm going to talk you through four quick things that helped me manage my children, all three of them at the time, three of them, I've got four now, three then, <laughs> another story, through the divorce of their parents. Very tough time for children when their parents who were together and now no longer. So what goes through their minds is a lot. How we play that a role in their life as the mum or the dad in whatever case may be in my case I was the dad obviously what do we how do we manage that the best way we can on this video I'll talk you through four things that I was able to repeat over and over which I think helped my kids get through what was no doubt the toughest time of their life so stand by up next on this video So if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new to the channel, welcome back. Don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. Click the subscription button and the notifications bell. That way when I upload a new video, you'll be up to date with all that's happening. And also in the descriptions panel below, I've got my 10 bold steps. I believe these 10 bold steps will help you. They're 10 bold steps that I took when I was going through my marriage and business collapse over 12 years ago to help me navigate through and fast track my comeback basically and I want to give those to you today free as a free download. I will ask you for your email address, just type that in and I'll be able to then email those 10 bold steps straight into your inbox and you'll have those. So managing children, supporting children through divorce, how do you do it man? Big subject and I for one second don't claim to have all the answers, in fact you know, every situation is different. Every relationship is different because you might have just the one child or maybe two or maybe you've got three or more. So every scenario is different. But I think as a parent, it's important we understand the role that we play in our kids' lives now more than ever as they come to terms with their new reality and the pain of that in the initial stages. So... Here's four things that I think can help, if I may. Things that I live by, adopted in my life, and that they seem to help my children work through a difficult time in their life. Number one, be the rock in their life. Okay, be the rock. What that means is that you are that person in their world who they can talk to about anything. I'm not saying they will talk to you about anything because they're in this state right now probably of confusion. They may be suffering from anxiety, fear, uh, confusion, as I said, and they're not quite sure what to make of this new reality. They're still coming to terms with it. Place of confusion and anxiety may last for some time. So the trick is now to be as much as you can, that person in their world that encourages conversation around how they're feeling. And you're not looking necessarily to answer any questions they may have, although maybe you will, but you're more interested in just listening to how they feel. So at least they feel that you know how they feel, and that's a big part of them managing this, these new feelings of fear and confusion and anxiety. So encouraging conversation around their feelings is really important. Being the rock in their life that you 
are not necessarily full of all the answers. In fact, more often than not, you won't have answers for some of the ways they feel and some of the questions they might have. But you want to make sure you're listening to them and making sure that how they're feeling is okay. Let, you, let them know that how they're feeling is okay and it's, it's okay for them to feel the way they are. The other thing is to make sure that you divorce yourself from, if you can, your own emotional roller coaster because you're going through a tough time as well as their parent. And it's not easy for you. It's very, in fact, it's a very difficult time for you. So make sure though that when you are on with your children that they they are kind of not rolling your emotional roller coaster with you. Because kids get so much security and safety, a feeling of safety and support from just knowing their mum and or their dad are okay emotionally. Now, if they sense that you're not coping, then that gives them license to feel like it's okay for me not to cope. And if, if mum or dad are not coping, what chance have I got is the question they'll ask themselves. So try and be that person in their world and you don't want to be artificial you want to be as authentic as possible but just try not to be that that try not to be expressing your emotions in front of your children whilst they're in your company because it ultimately doesn't help them navigate through this tough time of well, what they need right now is that rock in their life being you to be that solid foundation in their world that they can talk to about anything. So number one, be the rock in their world. So up here, number one, be the rock. That's you, okay? You're that person in their world. Number two, create an atmosphere of fun and safety. So, this is at home I'm talking about. Or you may be, like in my case, in a new environment, a new home or a new place that the kids aren't, the children aren't familiar with. So make sure that whatever the case, that, that when they come and visit or they're staying with you and they're in your custody, that you are basically creating that atmosphere of security, safety and fun. So we'll call this number two, security, safety, and fun. It's important because children need something to look forward to. Try and have as much fun as you can. Obviously, it's not easy when you're going through a tough time, but um, play that role in their life where you're the ambassador for fun in your kids', in your kids lives. And sometimes it's difficult to find some fun things when they're going through a tough time that they are. But, you know, have as, if they're with you, make sure that you've got something to look forward to. It could be, what I did was I had nights, right? I had, I had pizza nights, pasta nights, games nights, you know, playing Monopoly, playing Scrabble. Make, everybody made pizzas together, you know, and... I would just get some basic ingredients, you know, and the kids would then make pizzas and we would just have a lot of fun and have a lot of conversation over making pizzas together. Just simple things that don't take a lot of planning. It's just simple fun that kids really enjoy and having something to look forward to is really important in your home, wherever that might be right now, trying to create that atmosphere where the music is inspiring, it's uplifting and encouraging and there's always something happening that's as much fun as possible. Number three, don't criticize, condemn, or complain about your ex-wife or husband or a partner in front of your children. If there's one thing that children don't cope with is being negative and speaking negative about your ex in front of them. Because that ex generally is your ex-wife, that, that your children's mother or father, whatever the case is. So that's an important relationship in our life, very important. And 
regardless of who was right and who was wrong and what happened to bring about the demise of the relationship, that is not a conversation that you would have in front of your children. You know, little kids are fragile. They don't cope with grown adults being negative about each other in front of them because they're not just, they just don't have the capacity to absorb it. So just refrain from and don't be that person who's negative about your ex in front of them because your role in their life is to be the rock in their life, to be that person who is just inspiring, uplifting and encouraging them as much as possible, encouraging communication, encouraging conversation. So, you know, if, if they're not willing to talk to you, sometimes they're not willing to talk to you or they don't want to talk to you. Try and encourage them to have a conversation with someone, maybe a youth worker or a friend at school or a teacher at school. They need someone to be able to communicate with if it's not you. And so just encourage that point, that person, whoever that might be. So number three is eliminate the three C's. Criticize, condemn and complain about your ex-wife, ex-husband, ex-partner, etc. in front of your children. That is a no-no. Don't do it. Just don't go there. Number four, know what lights them up. What is it that lights them up? Do you know what it is? Have you had that conversation recently? Talk to them about what they want to be, who they want to become, what they'd like to achieve in their sport, in their school, academically, creatively. Whatever it is, know what lights them up because your role is to support them and encourage them in the thing that they're passionate about, okay? Every child, regardless of what challenge confronts them right now, has something in them, a flicker of a dream in their hearts that they want to aspire to. As a parent, a dad or a mum, make sure you're having that conversation around what lights them up and listen to the answers and help them identify how they can build on what it is that they, that they want to achieve, want to become or want to do with their life. So, and there's no wrong answer. Make sure that you encourage them around that and identify what that is for them. Write it down for them, help them identify it, make it become real, get some pictures of it, make sure that they've got some you know, visual reminders of what their future will become very important you have that conversation with your children and remind them of it regularly. Have the conversations on a regular basis about their future. So number four, know what lights them up. I'll write that down here. What lights, I write it in big letters because it's important. What lights them up? You gotta know that. So number one, be the rock in their life. Number two, create a, your home of security, safety and fun. Three, don't be the criticizing, condemning, and complaining person in your children's life about your ex-partner, ex-wife, ex-husband, whatever the case may be. Don't do that in front of your kids. That's a killer. And number four, know what lights them up. Have the conversation. Make it real. Make it visual. Make it alive in their life. So if you like what you see on this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. Thanks for joining me today. I'm hoping the 10 bold steps in the descriptions panel below are of some real value to you. I know they were for me. They helped me fast track my comeback uh, in a massive way. So I'm hoping they'll do the same thing for you too and they'll be a tremendous value add for you. So thank you for joining me today. I hope this is of value to you. And until next time, I'll see you on the next video.